we all come from home. Home can be your house or your state or your st a structure, but my definition of home is the vagina. Yes, that was the same uh, reaction I got the first time in 2017 when I lost, uh, when I started manufacturing my product called Organic Panty Liner Oil. After being in depression in 2016, I was in and out of the hospital for a couple of times in 2016. Then in 2017, I decided to venture into what was um, forbidden, kind of, because imagine a woman you're married and you have five kids you're talking about vagina yes i have five kids the first is 13 the last is five yeah and um you're talking about vagina and you're talking about sex so it's expected that okay what is she up to is she trying to constitute prostitution yeah that's the society will find herself because people feel when a married woman talk about sex talk about vagina she's all about prostituting kind of so so when i started the journey as an entrepreneur is is one of the toughest period of my life because a lot of things had to give in i lost a lot of things one thing i realized in the journey is that i i had to build a system around me that works for me because i i was emotionally i was financially bankrupt as at the time i started the product and my kids were like the board members of Organic Village Force because sometimes when I had challenges, I could just gather them. You know, five children, you cannot call them. You have to gather them, you know, to, to talk about your fears, you know. Basically, I might not really get much from them, but just, oh, mommy, you can do it. Mommy, you're, you're amazing. I love you, mommy. Just the boost that I needed for the next step. So I started with 24 bottles of the product, you know, and that 24 bottles, I literally give out everything for free. And then if I had one food here, I was producing and I was giving out the products for free. And I told myself that what I needed to do was to create a niche for myself and for my business, you know. And I realized that the perceived, um, what people perceive as failure, the greatest revenge is to succeed. And I told myself that I'm going to succeed in this journey, you know. And then there was a time <coughs> my son, then he was five years old, he wrote a composition in school. And he said, my, about my mom, and he said, my mom is a panty liner and she sells panty liner oil. So they, they called me, they called my attention during the open day and like, ah, they are trying to talk my son out of changing that to writing something else like oh my mom is a teacher that is a composition so you can use anything so it's fine he was he said no my mom is a panty liner and she sells panty liner oil well. so they called me and i was like okay let him be so now he still writes my mom is a panty liner and she sells panty liner oil well. so all this while when i was um struggling trying to put things together the kids were watching me and they were so proud of me because those are the system I created for myself that worked for me. And then after uh, like a year, you know, my, my, my thought was I wanted to build something that can fit into the international market. So branding was one of my challenges as well. But I was able to break that because, I, like I said, I didn't have the financial support. But... I sold my jewelry in trying to build a brand, you know. And the one full year, like I said earlier, I, I, I was giving out the product for free, you know. And sincerely, it was it was the one of the toughest uh, uh, times of my life, you know. And then um, there was a time again. I actually um, wore a t-shirt. The t-shirt was written "Let's talk vagina." And I wore that T-shirt to the mall, to the market, to weekly service in church, because I wanted people to see the passion and the vision that I have for Ghana Village Force, you know. And um, initially, when I when I wore the T-shirt, people felt ah, 
some people felt offended like why would they be putting a t-shirt like that you know but my kids were like mommy you're so bold and i became the cool mom in my children's school because when i come for school runs with a t-shirt let's talk vagina the friends were like i love your mom i want her to be my mom you know and those things kind of made them to be so proud of me that was the the support system that i needed to build my brand so today i will tell you that the journey is not really easy but I have sold five, more than 5,000 bottles of organic pantaliner oil. And I have stockists in the US, in the UK, in Uganda, in Malaysia, in major states in Nigeria, and in Ghana as well. This same product, you know. So the people that used to mock me then, like, oh, what is she doing? Is she into prostitution? Is she into all that? They come to me now. Some of them even come to seek for business advice, which of course I didn't have. And before now, I didn't have um, any science background, you know, in this product. I didn't, there's no science background, you know. But the, the, but the truth is, the product came from a place of depression. Yeah, the vision came, it, it wasn't something I studied, it came from a place of depression. and. The fact that I was able to break in the market to tell people that see, not only really pharmaceutical product that works, combinations of coconut oil and essential oils can just be the saving grace that you need for that situation that you're going through.